Hi, my name is Danielle, and I'll be doing this week's Advent lesson, which is on finding joy in giving your time. So there are a lot of things for everyone to look forward to this time of year. For teens and kids, we get a break from school, there's usually parties to attend, and there are gifts to give and to receive. But the joy we get from these things is often circumstantial. It's here today, and it's gone tomorrow. So here's a scenario for you. You clean your home all morning only to lose all those hard-earned sparks of joy as soon as your son walks in the door and launches his dirty, germy gym bag down the hallway. You pick up your daughter on the last day of in-person school before the break, and both of you are excited to get home and begin decorating the house and making cookies, when out of nowhere she gets a text that puts that all too familiar, I don't want to talk about it, look on her face again. Nope, circumstantial joy just doesn't cut it. Print Luke chapter 2, verses 10 to 11 and hang it on your fridge, or write it out on a decorative chalkboard. Place it somewhere your family will see it all season long. The joy God gives us in Jesus isn't restricted to our circumstances. In fact, when we experience the joy of Christ, it naturally begins to overflow into praise. Luke chapter 2, verses 13 to 14 read, Suddenly there was a multitude of the heavenly host with the angel praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and peace on earth to people he favors. Notice, too, that the angels didn't make God's grand announcement of the Messiah to the local government or priests. They proclaimed Jesus' birth to shepherds in a field. God often works in unexpected ways for his glory, and he can use us to be messengers of joy in the season. It can be as simple as saying Merry Christmas to the clerk at the store or pick or packing Samaritans for shoeboxes of simple toys and necessities for children who wouldn't otherwise have what they need, or perhaps volunteering as a family to participate in a local toy drive, or participating in, our, in collecting things for our Micah here at church. Let, let your teen and your family experience the joy of not just purchasing toys for less fortunate children this year, but being available to hand them out when the time comes. Merry Christmas!